What will win in a drag race between a BMW M4 CSL tuned by Manhart or a BMW XM Label Red tuned by Manhart? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. This BMW XM Label Red is powered by a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 that's mated to an electric motor. Now this car normally produces 748 horsepower and 1000 newton meters of torque, but Manhart has fitted the car with a piggyback ECU. And this has increased the power and torque to 800 horsepower and 1100 newton meters of torque. Power is sent to all four wheels via an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox. And the car weighs a colossal 2.7 tons and costs from around 210,000 pounds. This BMW M4 CSL has also been tuned by Manhart. It's powered by a 3 litre twin turbo inline six cylinder petrol engine and it normally makes 550 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. However, Manhart has done an ECU remap, fitted a carbon intake, a new downpipe, and catalytic converter. And so now this car produces 702 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque. It sends power to the rear wheels only via an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox. The car weighs in at around 1600 kilos and costs from around 200. £127,000. So Sam, these cars couldn't seem any different apart from the fact that they're BMWs and they're both tuned by Manhart. I've got luxury, I've got comfort, I've got seating for five people, I've got hybrids, so tax brakes, I can run on electric power. I'm also very heavy. What do you think is going to happen? Well, this is rear wheel drive, that's four wheel drive. So off the line, that's going to be better, I would imagine. This has got 702 horsepower, so a lot. 880 newton meters of torque. And this is the CSL base, so it's lighter. So it's not going to be sitting down on its power. So pff, who knows? And in terms of comfort, no, I am not comfortable. I've got my testicle shelf, which I don't see the point to. I've got scaffolding, utterly pointless. I've got a helmet net, so to speak, utterly pointless. So yeah, I'd rather be you. No one's ever said they'd rather be me in my life. So thanks for that. You've made me feel a little bit better about myself. Should we drag race and see what actually happens? Go oh, fast, fast, fast. Sound check. All v 8 us with some sound augmentation in the cabin and a horrendous soft limiter at four. I think you're going to absolutely destroy me because this does have a tuned exhaust, but so does yours. You are screwed, my friend. <laughs> No matter how old I get, that never becomes childish. It doesn't, I don't care what anyone says. It's so enjoyable. Anyway, let's race, see if this race is gonna be enjoyable. Oh, we had me off the line then. And then he like curtailed its power. Come on now! I thought it'd be coming back at me now. But it's not. Oh mate, that was pretty close that was. So you actually got a better launch and then it's like it cut your power and mine just obviously, because I had four wheel drive traction, kept on going, I got ahead of you and I thought I was gonna come back at me, but you didn't. I don't think it's the power, I think it's the torque of this and the traction control is, or the launch control is really just trying to manage it. It kind of went into a kind of a plateau in fourth gear there as well. I thought I was gonna really win and it just held station. I think it's spinning its wheels the whole time. Best two out of three, right? That's one nil to me, let's have another go. Oh, hello. Better, better, better. Come on now. Oh, no. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. What happened? What? You were coming back. You were definitely going to win. Then you like drop back to do fluff a gear check. You don't even have to change gears, mate. It'll do it automatically. Yeah, it's coming off boost in fifth. It's like it's riding a wave of boost and then in fifth it just plateaus. 
and it just holds and then it picks up boost again it's like i don't know is there a wastegate thing i don't know it's mechanical stuff but yeah it's losing boost in fifth you were winning that weren't you so no matter what you do it's not going to get better than that no that run was better because of the tires and that's it and then it did the same thing again yeah it did the same boost plateau bit there again but that was far more visible because i was next to you so we had something to scale it to well there we go it's close though so then what exactly happened well the xm1 it completed the standing quarter mile in 11.5 seconds. The M4 took 11.6 seconds. Now we can have a rolling race and we're going to set the cars in their comfort setting for like the engine and stuff. Automatic mode for the gearbox and their least aggressive setting. Just like their chill mode, like you're just driving around cruising on the motorway to see what their pickup is like and their performance when you suddenly floor the accelerator, say if you need to suddenly overtake. So let's find this out and we're going to race over the half mile. Here we go, just cruising along and counter in. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Considering this is a hybrid and it's supposed to have like torque fill. That kick down took forever. Bye Matt. And there's a half mile, been absolutely done. Okay, so I thought with my hybrid system, I'd just be able to just search ahead of you, but it wasn't like that. The delay on this was insane. And the hybrid system, because this thing is so heavy, the power from the electric motor isn't all that great. It's not enough to shift it. And you just buggered off. Any problems with torque in fifth gear this time? Yeah, exactly the same thing. It just drops a tiny bit of boost when it goes to fifth and then it has to spool back up. Because these are a twin turbo, aren't they? I mean, that's as far as my knowledge goes, but yeah, it's definitely dropping boost. Wow, this took off, didn't it? <laughs> Absolutely did when there's no like kind of traction element involved. Whoa. Okay, let's take the gearbox out of the equation and we'll do a roll on second gear from 50 kilometers an hour, okay? Three, two, one, go. That was better this time. That was better. Shout for this one. Oh, I was a bit late because I was dropping that. I saw it happen to you again, actually. So this was pretty much neck and neck for a very short period and you just shot off. Then as we started to get higher up in the gears, you just like plateaued again, didn't you? Yeah, we were neck and neck while I was getting wheel spin. That's what was happening there. <laughs> and then once the wheels caught up with the car, off we went. But then it did that fifth gear boost thing again, yeah. Okay, let's do it in third gear. Same thing again, but that should reduce your wheel spin to so have less like torque going to the road. So hopefully it won't spin up its wheels in third. We'll find out though. And hopefully I'll drop that down quicker so that I can paddle shift at the right time. Duh. We are at 80. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ooh, is he spinning his wheels again? I can't tell. <laughs> Stretch your legs. It's not that much in it. Were you spinning your wheels at all then? Just initially, but no, not really. But what's really interesting there is it's like it's the time, not the gear. So that time, because we were in third gear, we were further along the timeline. It did it in sixth gear with the boost drop. Oh, odd. Before that boost drop, does it feel quick? Yeah, it does feel quick. It doesn't feel massively quicker than the M4, but it does feel a little bit. You can feel it. This feels quick, you know, for like 2.7 tonnes. I mean, it's keeping up with that in a rolling race, really. Not far behind you. Yeah, if you were tanking down the road in your house, it would be quite scary, wouldn't it? It would feel very fast. It is very fast, this thing. But the next challenge um, may show one of the problems with its weight. Let's do it. Brake test from 160 kilometers an hour. When we reach the cones, full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? I'll be amazed if it's my car, but you never know. Let's find out. Here comes the cones. Mm -hmm. 
did I just win that? I mean, I think so. Do we need to get out and look? Probably. I just need to step over my testicle shelf one second. This is awful to get out of. You do have steels, so that's better. It's one. Definitely. It's leaking though. That's a lot of fluid. Is that? That's coolant. It's not aircon. It's aircon, isn't no, it? No, that, that's, that's is washer fluid. Oh, <laughs> it's washer fluid. Yeah, I mean, we. <laughs> I prayed so hard <laughs> that, that I obviously popped the top of the washer fluid and it came sliding out. Yes. <laughs> Wait, look, look, look. Somebody didn't secure the cap. Right, always remember, look. Actually, I think they did, but it just look at that. The well, yeah. brake force. We had that thing in Ireland, clunk, click, every trip. Yeah, but look at that, look. look. You've got nice action there. This is journalism at its <laughs> finest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, XM won the brake test. So wait a minute, you're saying that steel brakes are a better thing to have for one-off braking? Initially, they'll have a better check, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and they, they probably, I mean, if they get hot, there's very little difference and they'll just last longer in terms of uh, heat distribution, but yeah, the initial check will be better. Yeah, I know you get bored, but also that's really stiff. So that was bouncing in the braking zone. What's really zone. stiff? My big black car. Okay. So, huge thanks to Manhart for lending us these cars. If you want to watch some other drag races, then click on the video windows. If you want to compare how these cars quarter mile times compared to everything else we've ever drag raced, then click on the CarWow logo to check out the CarWow drag race leaderboard. The truth is hell. With him. Thanks for watching.